It's another Spike Studio product review. This one is a case, the F1, the one you need, the hard shell case folio for the iPad 2 and the iPad 3. A case, it's how A plus is done. Welcome everybody, it's another Spike Studio product review. Uh, luckily, you guys have a special treat today. It is the new A case F1 hard shell case folio for your iPad 2 and iPad 3, because we know there's an iPad 4, which was an iPad new for the 3. All right, so this is another one. I had the previous, and I've shown it in many other episodes, and we'll actually link to them. I had the previous A-Case, which I loved, the strap, the multi-angle, but it had no holes or anything for the new iPads with the cameras. Then we were sent uh, this lovely one, the spec, uh, which I reviewed. I'll put the link above here for the spec. We didn't like it. It, it just the whole the closure the whole thing just we didn't like the spec so this one came along i'm excited to see it uh i like them a case themselves so open it up interestingly enough i know i took a quick peek inside just so i wouldn't be too surprised when i talked to you but when we open it up um easy enough it's leather on the outside and it's plastic on the inside nice hard shell back though the back is super tough hard shell the front is a leather uh it did come with instructions to take your iPad out of the case. I had to use them. So getting your iPad in was quite simple. I had to use the instructions to get my iPad out of the case. But I wanna show you what it does. I found a couple flaws, but I found a bunch of things I like about it in itself. It has the holes that we need for your camera, your power, for your volume rocker on the side, and even one on the bottom for the speakerphone and for charging, which is awesome. What's missing from it? Well, looking at it, the one thing I noticed is that they it was kinda of hidden away was they put the corner in the new iPad 3s right there. That is the corner where they put the pop-out for the SIM card. Well, when you put it into the case, lo and behold, it sits right behind there. So it's behind that clip. So it's not easy to get to it if you change SIM cards when you travel regularly or anything else. That was the only downfall to the placement of the ports, I should say, and it does have the one for the earphone uh, before anyone asked me about it. So all you do to put it in, you sit it in low, you snap it in, there you go, and it's into place. It has the magnetic cover, so when you have it closed, of course, and you open it up, you get the lovely prompts. That works well. Uh, what about the angles that it sits at? It has a couple different angles they made, and I found one flaw in that. So, so far, we only have one in the design of the case, and that was hiding, behind, hiding the actual place for the SIM. Really, there's not much they could do unless they put something in the middle because Apple put it in the corner instead of down in the middle where it used to be in the iPad 1. So for the design for this, uh, pretty straightforward. They have a typing mode which I liked a lot, was the case actually catches on itself in the back. There's a ridge right there. So what you get is a typing mode. They call this the professional typing mode. It sits really sturdy. It does really well there. I liked it a lot. Then we have the normal mode, the tent, which we've all known and done. Uh, the hard plastic has a rubber edge right here, which I like a lot. Here's the downfall. So when you put it up into this mode, what, more like this, right? This rubber edge catches beautifully well on the table. When you're at this angle, no problem. I tend to look at things like this angle. Well, if your table isn't remotely slick, this part flies. There's nothing to keep this from falling. Or I mean, it's falling from sliding, excuse me. So that's the downfall to the outside of the case when you're using in that mode. This part is very slick. If you're on a table that's anything like a desk or anything else, it just slides away. Uh, but if you're in the mode where it's locked in professional style mode, right there with that catch, you can see that line. That's perfect. And if you're sitting up at a nice tight angle, that's perfect. But as soon as you get to about here, it dies on you. Uh, that one I didn't like. Oh, and to get out my iPad earlier, I actually had to pop the corners. What you do is you actually hold it up and just pop those little corners. They're so good and snug, which is great for a case. Love them for it. Your iPad's not coming out. That I had to use a little screwdriver to just kind of edge that corner up because it was killing my fingers to do it. So we'll put that away. So overall... Hard case, all the ports are available except for the SIM card, everything's there. Magnetic front cover that pops open, uh, lightweight, nice, compact, keeps the iPad very snug in its screen on the inside. No problems there. We'll turn that down so it doesn't get too much glare. Keeps it very snug, fits a trim, and here's a bonus. What I didn't like about that spec folio that I like about this one is it didn't mess up my screen protector. I have the anti-glare screen protector on here, as you can see, it's not glaring anything. It doesn't mess with it. It didn't pop the edges and bubble it up. That one came over the edge of the iPad and pushed against your screen protector, which pushed it off. So this one, I think we might actually give this one four and a half out of five. 
when you guys see this on Amazon, it'll have to probably be a four. We never give it a perfect five just because if I find anything like that, but we will give it a definite four out of five with huge recommendation. It is the F1, the one you need. It is the hard shell case from Folio A case. And we love these guys. Thanks for sending over. If you have any questions, you know where to find us. Watch the playlist for all the product recommendations that we have. Talk to you again.